Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. Alright, we're over here on Westport Road at Rudy's Sports Bar and Grill. Known for authentic buffalo wings. The owner started this uh, business back in the late 70s in Buffalo, New York, uh, where the buffalo wings were invented, of course. And I've actually seen a video where the owner had a spot on Regis and Kathy showing his buffalo sauce recipe and blue cheese dressing recipe. He sells a famous sauce, award-winning grilled wings he's got. I've had several people reach out to me touting this place. And of course, being a buffalo native, the owner has made this a hardcore uh, Buffalo Bill sports bar. So of course, I had to wear my Bengals gear because I ain't scared. But you know what? I don't think anybody's going to jump me in here because Buffalo's in the AFC Championship tomorrow, so I don't think anybody's going to kick up much of a fuss. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and check out these wings and see just how good they are. Let's do it. Okay, before the food gets here, I just want to kind of show the atmosphere. Obviously, sports bar, you can see nothing but football memorabilia. Of course, Buffalo Sports Bar headquarters here. But over here, you can see the infamous picture of Woody Hayes throat punching the Clemson player in the 78 Gator Bowl, which led to the end of Woody Hayes' career. Uh, pool tables over here. Plenty of tables, this place is huge. Over here we have karaoke booth. On Wednesday nights at seven o'clock, they do karaoke. Yeah, the karaoke DJ, Tim Sneed, is one of the ones that actually reached out to me and told me that Rudy's had the best buffalo wings in town. And as you see here, they're known also for their famous blue cheese dressing, which you can actually buy it by the half gallon. Are you kidding me? This stuff must be good. All right, before I get into the wings, which was the reason I came here, the waitress also recommended the uh, French dip, which she says that a lot of people come in here just for that. Of course, it's roast beef with Swiss melted, and it comes with a side of au jus sauce. So we're gonna go ahead and dip that. Mm. I can see why they like that. And these curly Q fries. All right, this is wonderful. Be right back with the wings. All right, moving along here. I got two different kinds of wings. I got the buffalo wings and the award-winning barbecue wings. But I'm gonna start on the buffalo. All right, they had, I got the, the regular hot buffalo, but they actually had two heat levels above. The next heat level up was called the suicide sauce, and which was habanero which I don't feel like a true buffalo wing should be a habanero sauce, so I'll stay with the hot. And then the next level up is called the homicide, which is this right here, which is really, really hot. But again, not a true buffalo wing sauce, but I am gonna go ahead and try a little bit of it. Buffalo sauce, <clears throat> the regular hot on there, really good. As I mentioned in the intro, the owner actually showed on uh, Kathy and uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, Regis and Kathy showed how he made his recipe and also showed how he made his blue cheese famous. So let's just see just how good this famous blue cheese is. Not your regular blue cheese dressing, that's for sure. Not only is that blue cheese, there's some other stuff going in there. There's some like herbs, spices, something going on there. It's giving it a special, special tang. 
But anyway, these buffalo wings are really good. They're not breaded, which is a true buffalo wing. A lot of people use breaded wings, deep frying, and roll them in sauce. And they say that's buffalo wings, but it's really not. True buffalo wing is naked, rolled in sauce. So anyway, I'm going to work on these, and then I'm going to get back to you and try out their award-winning barbecue wings. All right, we're coming up on the last item here, the uh, grilled wings, which, by the way, they actually deep fry them first, then they... Uh, they uh, grill them afterwards. And then they, they baste them with the famous barbecue sauce. Before I get started though, I don't want to waste anything. We got a little leftover au jus sauce here. Mmm. Mm. Nice little tasty cocktail there. Alright. I can see why these are award-winning wings here. This blue-collar working man's wing right here run you over like Cincinnati Bengals' Pete Johnson. Oh yeah, it's got that good smoky flavor plus the uh, that barbecue sauce. It's not too sweet. A lot of barbecue sauces. You know, real sticky, got that sugary on it, but it's not too, not too bad. Mill the road on the, on the sweetness. But this is definitely worth something coming back for. So, all together, everything is great. As I said, place is family friendly, plain big, good atmosphere. So I do highly recommend the Buffalo Wings and the award-winning grilled wings, and of course, don't forget that blue cheese dressing. Y'all don't know nothing about Rudy's Sports Bar and Grill. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.